Creating 3D characters and environments often requires creating and simulating cloth. But in the case of characters especially, creating clothes is a must. You can do this in many ways, but for me personally, I recommend doing this using a very popular add-on called Simply Cloth from VX Live Season. It is fast, efficient, and helps you do all sorts of things. But the topic of today's video is the new Blender add-ons for creating cloth and simulating cloth that were released recently. I mean in the last few months that you probably didn't hear about. From add-ons that help you add details, accessories, do retopology for clothes, and much more. But before we continue, I want to let you guys know that the Blender market is having right now a huge sale, where you can save 25% or more on over 11,000 Blender add-ons, courses, models, you name it. And by the way, if you don't know where to start, you will find a list in the description of this video with the best add-ons in all categories. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. From the same developer of Simply Cloth, we have a new add-on called Simply Stitch. I think this add-on is pretty self-explanatory, but in a nutshell, it is an add-on that was specifically designed for making all sorts of stitches that you can apply to your clothes. And you can do so by following a couple of different ways and methods, using a variety of tools and presets that you can use however you like. And the thing is, it is really simple, because the add-on gives you the ability to make those stitches by just drawing them, using custom curves and lines, or even using custom presets which are included in the pro version. But by saying this, I'm just scratching the surface here. Because using Simply Stitch lets you customize the stitch's effects like adding profiles, scale distance, thickness, depth offset, and more. And if this is not enough, you're always free to use custom stitches or the various types of stitches that come with the asset library that is dependent on the version of the add-on you decide to purchase. Now back again to cloth creation, we have a new add-on called Divine Cut which is an add-on that is all about quickly creating clothing elements like pants and t-shirts for any type of character. You just have to select your character and then manually move each selected vertice where it belongs, like the chin, neck, shoulder, elbow, and everything else. Now, you can just select which type of clothing to generate and simply hit the Generate Rig button. And what it does is that it creates a couple of adjustable loop cuts that you need to scale and move according to the proportions of your character. The interesting thing is that it gives you a lot of painting tools, which allow you to control the fit of your cloth when it comes to its design and movement. For instance, using the painting feature, you can anchor specific areas like cuffs or waistlines, which will prevent unwanted movement during simulations. Then there is bloat, which allows you to adjust the size of different parts. In addition, there is the smooth tool, which helps you iron out any rough spots after applying the shrink wrap modifier. There is also a pressure tool that allows you to maintain structure in selected areas just so your cloth object doesn't flop around. When it comes to design feature, Divine Cut offers convenient options like bind, which can I think securely attaches the cloth of your character. Also, it automatically binds objects like buttons and zips to the cloth, in addition to many other features. Now, let me tell you about a common situation that you can face with cloth animation. For example, when you are trying to animate your character and clothes keep clipping through the body part of the character, this type of neatly inevitable issue is something that even AAA studios have to deal with. And today we got a Blender add-on called Cloth to Shape Keys, which might provide an easy solution for this problem. Cloth to Shape Keys, as the name suggests, allows you to turn any frame within your animation sequence into a shape key and sculpt it. So, at any moment in your animation where a clipping occurs, you can convert the specific frame into a shape key and fix the clipping. What this add-on does is converting cloth, soft body, or mesh sequence cast modifier to shape keys and duplicate your original mesh so that you can sculpt freely and fix any unwanted artifacts. The add-on allows you to smoothly navigate through the sequence using hotkeys and even skip multiple frames using the stepping feature located in the Output Property tab. And it is important to mention that even though you can apply the Subdivision Surface modifier to your converted mesh and keep shape keys within the animation, you should be cautious while using this feature because high subdivision levels 
may cause performance issues sometimes. Another important thing to be efficient at is class simulation with this new add-on called Cascade. In a nutshell, it brings a library of cloth simulated assets that can help you create animations. Made with extra attention to detail, this add-on offers a drag and drop functionality so that you can easily build complex load effects which can save you time of doing the simulation yourself. The good thing is that Cascade is compatible with Vendor's asset browser. And as a bonus, it includes a pack of 55 textures, which is nice to have. So with over 37 real-time simulations and more to come hopefully in the future, I think Cascade can bring a lot of different possibilities, from character animations to architectural renders and more. Now back to modeling, and still with cloth modeling, we have a new add-on called Retopo Planes, which is all about retopologizing your clothes and garments. In a nutshell, Retopo Planes is a new Blender generator powered by geometry nodes and enables you to quickly retopologize your messy garments and clothes, which I think is going to be useful in many different use cases. For example, this generator can be useful with exported meshes from software such as Marvelous Designer or other 3D cloth design software. And we all know that the meshes that come out of these programs can be very dense and sometimes not very friendly when it comes to topology. So this tool can work by utilizing the UV islands of your mesh to simply separate the garments into flat individual pieces corresponding to the UV island that you essentially created in your cloth software. Now, after doing so, you will be able to access the main features of this tool. And it works by manually selecting the edge of each cloth piece using the main functionality of this tool that detects and produces the outline of your garments. And after doing so for the all separate islands, you can go to the Geometry Node Modifier tab to fully customize and fine tune the topology of your planes. And when I say you can customize your topology, I really mean it. Because you're gonna have full control over density, snapping distance scale, seams merge distance, and smooth low poly level. In addition, you can automatically adjust the density by using the crease or sharp density control. Also, from the same developer, First of all, we have Laces Generator, which is an add-on that allows you to generate high-quality shoelaces. The add-on is easy and simple to use. You just need to add laces from the asset library, and then customize a bunch of stuff, and voila, you've got yourself your shoelaces ready to be used in a short amount of time. The laces are fully procedural, and they have consistent trim UVs to make them look highly realistic and detailed but also optimized to be used in anything. The add-on, of course, is based on geometry nodes because everything is nowadays. So you can customize a lot and a lot of stuff, such as the density, bend pinch, twist, width, eyelet scale, depth, and more. By the way, you can also customize the general look of the laces by editing in the edit mode. Next, we have Belt Maker that will help you make various kinds of belts. You might think to yourself, this is probably the most useless add-on you've ever seen. But since over a hundred people bought it, it must have something unique. I mean, it must have something more than meets the eyes. So let's see. The add-on contains a bunch of different kinds of belts, and most of them are cowboy belts. You can add the belts to the asset library and then customize them depending on what you want. It allows you to adjust the length, scale, and add holes. Also, you can control the stitches spreading, length, thickness, offset, or you can just turn them off. Additionally, you can drop your own meshes and objects into buckles and extra collections to make your own customizable belt. Overall, it is a great add-on and it works really well. And I think considering the options it gives you, it might save you a bunch of hours working on these belts yourself, not mentioning the fact that it gives you great results. Last but not least, we have an add-on called Procedural Torn which is an add-on that was specifically made to create different types of torn clothes. And the add-on works with geometry nodes and weight painting. So all you have to do is add a geometry node modifier to your mesh, then select torn, which adds files to the edges of your mesh instantly. Now you can paint a white map or a vertex group and load it into the mask input in the torn geo node modifier. And once again, the files will be procedural all around the weight map you created making it look like an actual hole in that piece of cloth. The procedural nature of this add-on 
allows you to edit the shape of the torn part at any moment or create torn effects and adjust different values for the fuzz so you can adjust the scale, length, radius, density, etc. Procedural Torn also provides a slider to adjust viewport density so you can work without any lack in performance. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, let's give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.